the global warming potential of methane on a hundred year time scale is 34 times that of CO2. The media always gets this number wrong. They always quote a wrong number. They say it's 22 times or 24 times or 25 times. This video is a rant against the media and whoever else reports that incorrect number. The latest version of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change AR5 document clearly states that at a hundred year century time scale the global warming potential of methane is 34 times that of CO2. So let's once and for all put that to rest, that smaller incorrect number. But that's not the most important number. If no time scale is given, it's a hundred years. But methane only lasts for about 10 or 12 years, 10, 11, 12 years in the atmosphere. So a number that is more meaningful but still not Act not the best number is the 20 year time scale and over 20 years the global warming potential of methane is 86 times that of CO2. This number is also quoted sometimes but the number that is key for example in the Arctic with methane coming up from the permafrost or from the seafloor you know over the space of a few years the warming the global warming potential of methane is more like somewhere in the range 150 to 200 times that of CO2. So closer actually to 200 times. And also in the Arctic with the circulation patterns around the pole, there is a confinement of methane there. So that will increase the uh, lifetime of the methane. Also, the main sink of methane in the atmosphere is hydroxide ions which are formed from the breakdown of water hit by UV from the sun. There has to be water vapor in the atmosphere in order for methane to be broken down into CO2. Um, so if there's not water vapor the methane lasts longer. So the Arctic region is very dry. There's very little water there. Same with Antarctica. So methane that is there and somewhat confined will last for longer and will not be broken down. These sinks or processes are much slower at higher latitudes. This is another factor. So if you have a lot of methane near the equator, for example, there's loads of water vapor and it's broken down very quickly and doesn't have much of a warming effect. But in the Arctic, where it's very dry, when it comes out up there, it's a much more severe effect. So the, uh, you might have heard the term methane clathrates, which are basically water, a, water, a frozen water cage around methane. And this is buried in the sediments under the seafloor and on land. And when this starts to thaw out, when that ice cage melts, the methane in the center is released and the volume of the substance goes up 160 times. And this has clearly been happening in Siberia with the enormous warming over Siberia. And it's causing, the pressure will build up under the ground until it blows the earth out in a crater, creating a big crater. Um, and this has been seen, there's at least 20, probably 30, there's probably more undiscovered in Siberia. They haven't been occurring in Alaska yet, but they will be soon, especially with the enormous temperatures that we're seeing in Alaska. They're also occurring, a similar thing is occurring on the seafloor, where the seafloor is lifted up over very large areas because of the methane gas. So don't underestimate the power of this methane gas to completely send the planet spiraling up in a much, into a much warmer, warmer planet. Methane is the biggest risk that we face. I've been involved in uh, found, helping found and run the Arctic Methane Emergency Group. And we did this about four or five years ago and we've been yelling at the top of our lungs to the world about the risks of methane coming up in the Arctic 
and we've been ignored and now we're starting to see the realization of this. So look at my previous video called the three-legged bar stool and that clearly itemizes what we need to do to start on our path to climate restoration. The Manhattan Marshall Project scale emergency footing basis to, to try to restore a stable climate. Thank you for this, uh, for your attention. Please go to my website, paulbeckwith.net. Look at, look at my videos, there's over a hundred of them. And, uh, you know, please educate other people. That's the most important thing you can do. Educate other people about the threats that we face so that we get a tipping point in human behavior and start to address this problem. Thanks again, bye.